Now here in this ayah, Allah defines the people of sabr. But I want to talk a little bit about some of the myths of sabr that we have in our community. Let me give you an example. <laughs> Imagine that you walk into your house or maybe you're sleeping in your house and you hear a smoke alarm. So you wake up, you see smoke, then you see fire. Now imagine that you see this fire and you see the smoke and then you stand there and you fold your arms like this and you say, MashaAllah, I have so much sabr, I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to do nothing about this. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to watch as my house burns down because MashaAllah, I have sabr. And then you're going to have people come around you, collecting around you and saying, MashaAllah, look at her sabr. She's doing absolutely nothing about her house burning down. Is that sabr? Not a, not a trick question, guys. Is that the meaning of sabr? That I'm standing in my own burning house and I'm doing nothing. That's not what sabr is. What should I do if there's smoke and fire in my house? Get a fire extinguisher. Call the fire department. Get some water. Do something, yeah? And that is your sabr.